Hello there and welcome to Paris Set Me Free, creative Paris photo tutorials. Now, can you tell me where this is? Well, it's, as you might guess, it's, well, it's not a square, it's not one of those little places or little uh, roundabouts. It's actually one of the big parks in Paris and it's, uh, I don't know if you can tell, I mean, what you can see here, it's one of those big buxom bronzes uh, holding open uh, an improbably large sea monster's mouth or some such nonsense but don't know if you you can guess where it is because statues like this are pretty plentiful around the city let me give you the map there we are there's the center of Paris <coughs> there's the two islands and where we're going today is here to Jardin des Plantes okay let's zoom in on that there you can see just next to the river and this photograph was actually taken in the garden the map doesn't allow you to go in the garden but if we take this little guy and we put him about here we can get a, a vague idea of things there's the river Gare d'Ostelitz on this side here and there we can see I think it's the Natural History Museum there and right here would be the entrance to the park although we can't zoom there there it is so we're in Jardin des Plantes and there I was sitting on a bench and I actually rediscovered this photograph when I was looking for a photograph to go with a poem which I'd just written and I was looking through this from last summer from uh, the summer of 2008 one of those days when you're just sitting on a bench in the park reading or writing or thinking or taking photographs slightly voyeuristically as you'll see and if I jump four photographs I discovered this uh, opposite me which I thought was quite interesting you can't see who it is which is quite good you can see that it's uh, uh, well it's black on white she, he's rather black and she's rather white which is quite interesting you can just see this this big dark suited blob and these two quite white legs sticking out from underneath it and her head and her arm so it's quite a quite a nice photograph quite sweet if I go back one I was I was trying to get the idea the hang of of this shot and how I could take it and at the same time not wanting them to suddenly look up and see some pervy guy pointing a camera at them so I was a bit nervous about this um, this wasn't the first one I took this was the third shot I took this was the second so you can see from there I thought oh this is interesting so I, I zoomed in and got this trying for another angle got this but in fact the very first shot that I got oh hang on there's one more there you are far too dark probably because uh, there was more sky in it and you can just see a bit of legs and um, but the first shot I got of all was this one which is quite interesting you can see the couple and unfortunately her legs are covered by this runner's trainer here but as I wrote I was writing a poem called uh, what was it called hang on let me just check there we are runner in the park this photograph went pretty pretty well with that this is actually in the poetry section on my site and I played around with it look at the the colors here and you can even see a grainy effect and the back of his jacket has gone grainy even even the foliage behind them has gone quite um, extremely well something strange has happened to it I won't give you all my secrets away <laughs> but uh, if you compare it with that you can see what you can do if such is your your style and your desire you can go from that to that which is what I've done and I liked it because the poem which is called runner in the park I'll just let you see the title of it there to prove it there you are runner in the park the poems about a rather ironic poem about what someone who runs through the park on a regular basis sees and sometimes you see sweet and innocent things and sometimes you see rather darker things now you can see some of the poem which I'll leave it to your uh, your uh, attention to uh, to go and visit if you want there we are so there's the photograph and 
Yes, it was inspired by... The, the photograph wasn't inspired by the poem, and the poem wasn't inspired by the photograph, but having said that, I often spend a lot of time in a lot of my life running around parks. This isn't me, of course, but it could have been, and seeing all sorts of things. Sometimes you you imagine that it's you, sometimes, sometimes it is me, to be honest, not necessarily in that position, but often it's me sitting on a park bench watching people going by, and sometimes it's me going by secretly watching them watching me going by if you see what I mean and it's kind of funny it's kind of ironic in in a kind of way sometimes when I run in the park I think of the poem that I'm I'm going to write sometimes I'm sitting on the bench writing a poem thinking of when I'm running uh, so it kind of kind of goes both ways really and I often wonder about other people I often what wonder what other runners are thinking as they they trek around the park uh, going round and round and round and sometimes I wonder when I'm running round and round what the people on the benches are thinking what their life situation is whether they're homeless and and all the rest of it so that was kind of what the poem was about and that's kind of what this photograph epitomizes for me this and I, I'm kind of both of those people Oh, not the guy snoggy on the bench, but the guy sitting on the bench watching the runner go by, or the runner running past the guy on the bench. So I'm kind of in this photograph very much, because obviously I was sitting on, on a bench when I took it, and yet that could have been me. So uh, having said the same thing about five times, I've probably bored you silly, but hopefully you see what I mean. Photographically speaking, well I've played around with it in my style to make it a bit punchier. There's an angle in there which I didn't add afterwards. I took it that way for some reason. I think the legs are quite strong. I don't mean that they're muscular, which they are, but the the way they completely dominate the frame. Chopping, zooming out at the top, the 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 foot getting chopped at the bottom, and this going following the horizontal lines of the frame there pushing back. It's almost like this foot is pushing, has pushed against this side of the picture to propel him in this direction. And he's he's almost already out of the frame, which gives a real sense of, of movement. His foot's already gone. His body isn't even in the frame. He's going so fast, perhaps. And you can romanticize, I suppose, and, and wonder why he's running, what he's running away from, what he's running to, why he runs. And then there's those people that he's running past with a completely different bunch of priorities. Runner in the Park is the poem, if you want to look for it in the poetry section. The poem's based on a children's nursery rhyme, but it's a little bit darker than that if you read through it. And it's fun to associate an image with words, I think, or words with an image. Often it goes goes like that for me. One way or another, I I take a photograph which inspires a poem or write a poem which inspires a photograph and if you can tie them together from time to time it can make it stronger or not it's all up to you that's runner in the park and it was taken in jardin des plantes sitting on a bench can be quite a good discipline just to see what's going on around you people don't tend to worry about you if you're playing with your camera so you can get away with some shots of people which you wouldn't normally be able to do so. You can even position it, focus on a spot on, on the ground where you know they're going to, to go past, so it's in focus. Uh, maybe put it on manual focus. And then you just sit there looking in the other direction as they go past, take the shot, and you've got all sorts of interesting things. I've got this project in mind to just sit in a cafe, put my camera where there's a lot of people going past, put my camera on self-timer on the table, with the right focus where I know I'm going to get a lot of people going by and just do a collage of all the different faces that go past. Well that's one for the future. So thanks for visiting. I have been Paris Set Me Free. Visit the blog for a higher quality picture parasetmefree.blogspot.com or the site of course and see you next time. Bye bye! Depuis que je suis à Paris, le jour et la nuit, je suis gris. J'ai compris la douceur de vivre, je suis fou de joie, je suis ivre. Depuis que je suis à Paris.